Hey there, hi, welcome to the channel. I am Garrett and in this video, we are talking about 10 things that maybe everybody says are dated, but I think make your house look great. And we have got a lot of things to get through, so let's get into the video. The first thing people think are dated, but I really love and are actually coming back in are alcoves, niches, and recesses because these are great storage spaces. They're great for displaying your items, and I love that for you. I love that for me because this is not a piece of furniture. It's not a bookcase, it's not a table or a credenza, anything like that. It's built into the walls, it's a feature. And these are really great because if you have kind of a, a recess in the walls, some awkward little space, you can put a small piece of furniture there, add shelves, and you create a really beautiful feature in your home that adds storage, it's decorative, and that's fantastic. You can also turn something like this into a mini workstation. That's also really great too. I love these because it's an architectural feature. It's beautiful, it's an upgrade. I really, really like them, especially when they are made of dry wall of some sort. Maybe they have wood shelves. This is really great. We're seeing them very popular with arched openings. Also really fun and really great. And if you have them, they definitely are worth saving because super cool, super unique. And I really love the ability to display some of your beautiful things without having to have another piece of furniture taking up floor space. The next dated thing that I love and makes your house look great is a curved staircase. Now I don't think this is a big thing people are talking about being dated, but I am seeing a trend of people removing them and putting in just a normal staircase that maybe has a 90 degree turn in it. And while that's fun, it's functional, it's great, and it's beautiful if you have it, why would you remove a curved staircase in favor of it. I don't really understand that. And I think a part of it is a flight or fight response that people say, oh no, not a curved staircase, that's too traditional. But there are so many great ways you can modernize a traditional feature in your home and really update it. You could do a new banister or railing. You might even be able to do a stain or something on the railing. Iron railings are very in right now. There's so much you can do with a curved staircase that doesn't involve ripping everything out and starting over because it's very expensive and usually does not get you the impact you are after. Now, if you have a really small space, a curved staircase can definitely take up room that you don't have to spare. So maybe you consider it in that instance. But for the most part, I love a curved staircase. I think they're beautiful. I think they're great. And most people value them. It's kind of a 90s builder grade feature, but it can definitely be very elevated. The next dated home feature is going to be controversial, but I think it can make a space look great when done correctly, and that is shiplap. Now, with the farmhouse trend, shiplap was everywhere. Everyone loved it. Everyone had to have an accent wall of shiplap, and I can definitely agree that it was overdone but I think shiplap can be really great if you are looking to create a beautiful feature in your home. Like I have shiplap ceilings that I really love and are really impressive to everyone that comes in. I also think it can be great when everything is done in shiplap because you get a really beautiful space that can actually be minimal and have a unique feature to it because shiplap can add a lot to your home. It can make a space feel very nautical. It can make a space feel very lived in, country, comfortable. And I think that's great, but it's also lines. You can play with the proportions of a space by using them. Horizontal lines will make a space feel a little bit lower, a little more closed in, while vertical lines make a space feel taller. And you can take advantage of that with shiplap. Like I said, I have shiplap ceilings in my home. I really love them. It's a feature we added that really pops and stands out and it's very timeless for the style of the space. And I'm always encouraging you to do that, which is why if you are not already, you should take a moment and hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification to get notified every time I upload. Join the Le Chic family. Sound off in the comment section. Let me know after you have subscribed so I can personally welcome you to the channel and join the family. Subscribers are not commodities here. We are a community and we we love to engage, so be sure you give this video a like. The next thing that people think is dated, but I think can make a home look great, is actually the drywall banister. And this is so funny to me because this was a 90s builder grade home feature that people used to have because it was what was free. You would pay for an upgrade for a 
beautiful wood banister or something, but you would get the drywall for free. And today it's a big trend. It's something that's popular, but I think is actually kind of timeless depending on the style of your home. This was popular with Spanish and Mediterranean design. So it definitely has its roots in history. And I love that there's a lot of dated houses out there that have this and it was the free thing and now it's super. But I love this because I think it's very minimal, very sophisticated and sleek, and it can be upgraded easily. If you have a traditional space and you have a drywall banister, you could add paneling or molding to it. And if you have that minimalistic design, consider smoothing out the walls and you have something that's super elegant and very elevated. The drywall banister was something that was that cheap thing that builders put in to try and get you to spend more money, and now it's a trend that's popular. I think it'll be timeless, and I think it's something that's a really cool feature to have in a home, and it's something that if you have, do the best you can with because it doesn't have to be dated. It can be very upgraded and elevated and super timeless. The next dated home feature that I think makes a house look great is flagstone. And you all know I'm a fan of this. I mentioned it in a outdoor design idea video that I love a flagstone patio, but I really love it indoors too. It was very popular with mid-century design. You would see it in hallways and foyers because it can actually be very impactful. It almost has an oversized terrazzo-like effect that I love. I think flagstone is really great because you get some natural shapes and a natural stone. Bringing the outdoors in, being one with nature feels really good in a home. And flagstone is an easy way to do that. It is something worth considering because it has a maintenance aspect to it. It can be difficult to clean in a high use area. So be mindful of that. But I think if you have flagstone in your home, if you have terrazzo even, both of those are really fantastic and amazing. I'm not even mad at the orange flagstone. It's a nice pop. It's something vibrant and different. And I also am really loving some of these gray charcoal slate type of flagstone floors. Beautiful, elegant, timeless, always amazing and sophisticated. I love flagstone because it's a natural element. It's something different and it hasn't been in for a while, but I definitely think it's something very timeless. And like I said, bringing the outdoors in, always classic and sophisticated. I think flagstone's not going anywhere. I think it's actually going to become even more popular. The next trend that people think makes a home look dated, but I think makes a home look great, is actually dark and mid-toned wood. And I'm not talking just about furniture, which you know is my preference, but I love a dark wood floor. I love cabinetry. All of the wood features in a house, I think, can be these dark and mid-toned woods because Wood is always classic, it's always timeless. It's not going out of style no matter what tone it is. Maybe it's not the most in thing at the moment. Right now, everybody likes the light woods because they're bright and airy and fresh, but I'm seeing right now people starting to lean a little bit more towards these darker, more mid-tone woods because they're very timeless and elegant. What can date some of these wood finishes is the actual finish of the wood. Right now, people are really loving a matte or a flat finish on everything, basically, because it doesn't have as much of the glare, the shine, it doesn't show dirt as much, and it has a more rustic feeling to it. I really like that. I love when I can see and feel the texture of wood. I think that's really beautiful. And once again, it's bringing the outdoors in which is always elegant and elevated and super timeless. So if you have a wood floor or you are considering putting one in, you're refinishing, you're renovating, consider going with a matte finish for the sealant on that floor. That way you get a lot of the wood tone, you can see a lot of it, and you still get the benefits of having a finish on the floor, which you obviously want. The so next dated feature that I think makes a home look great is brick. And I'm not just talking about red brick, I'm not talking about that more 70s kind of brown brick. I like brick all together, but indoors, I like painted brick. I know that's maybe an unpopular opinion because everybody loves red brick, but I think if it's not historical, if it's not important brick, if the house is not super old, paint the brick. What difference does it make? I like that and I think a lot of people want to get rid of brick, like a brick fireplace, not everybody loves. A brick floor, not everybody loves. And I can see them in certain spaces and really love them, but they can also be very 
busy, very dark feeling, and that's not for everyone. So painting brick sometimes is the best option, especially if you've got that brick veneer backsplash. Oh, no, 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 no. I do not like a texture. I don't like something that is absorbent of moisture in a kitchen. Have it painted and do yourself a favor. Painted brick isn't bad in a home. It can look very beautiful and elegant because it's a texture and you also are getting a smooth, maintainable, cleanable surface. That brick is not. So I don't think painted brick is bad. I like brick in a house. I like red brick. I like the brown brick. I love a brick floor, but some people don't want it. Some people have it and you don't have the budget to change it. Painting it in the interim is a more affordable option that will get you that fresher look. And maybe you have it and you're like, Garrett, I don't have the budget to do it, period, point blank. I'm not spending the money on it. I got other things to do. Have it painted. It'll look fabulous. It'll look beautiful. The next dated home trend or feature that I think makes a house look great is vintage light fixtures and lighting of any sort. I love to mix vintage and modern together, and that includes lighting. I like a mid-century fixture mixed with something very traditional, go for a vintage lamp, go for a vintage overhead fixture. If you're buying an older home, it's gonna have some older light fixtures. See if they'll work for you, and if they work in the space, if they will work in the house, period, Save them, keep them, have them cleaned up and they will be great. You can also have older light fixtures restored and rewired and they will be perfectly functional, which is also wonderful. I love a vintage light fixture because they can definitely have some charm and some character. It's nice to have an original feature in a space if you have them and if you don't, you can add a little bit of character in that way. It's also really cool to have vintage light fixtures because a lot of them are very utilitarian in their design, which is also very beautiful. The next dated home feature that I think makes a house look great is actually a garden or built-in tub. Right now, the freestanding tub is very in, very popular, everybody wants it. And if you came to me and said, Garrett, I want the latest, the best, the greatest in my bathroom, I'm gonna tell you to get a freestanding tub. That is just what is in. But I don't think there's anything wrong with having a garden tub. I think that most people just don't like them or they think, oh, it's dated, it's helpless, there's nothing that can be done. So they either wanna get rid of them or they're not willing to put the work in to decorate them and make them look very elevated, which I think they definitely can be. Consider adding a beautiful window treatment above, hang a piece of art, hang a mirror if you're into that. Also, a great towel rail is wonderful where you can display some gorgeous monogram towels and I love that for you. A garden tub is really fantastic because they can actually be a little bit safer and they're easier to clean around, which is wonderful. Not everybody can get into a bathtub, period. So maybe that doesn't matter to you and you just need to focus on having a zero threshold shower, which is fabulous. Nobody wants to fall and hurt themselves, so always be careful when it comes to a bathtub. The next thing that people think makes a home look dated, but I don't think so. I think it looks great is color. Right now, people just don't love color. For whatever reason, everything I see online, all of it is all white. White walls, white sofa, white rug. They'll do a marble table, which is basically just white, white artwork, white everything. And it can be so boring, so institutional feeling. And I like it in photos and I think that's great, not in my house. With that said, I'm sitting in a white room on a white sofa with white drapes, but I love a pop of color in artwork and a rug, something fun like that. And in other rooms in my house, currently everything is blue, but I love color and I love vibrancy. I love to see that in a space and I don't think it's dated whatsoever. I feel like we get overexposed to everything being white or any trend whatsoever and then think we have to have that. So I love to see color in a space. I'm painting my bedroom right now a really fun color that the makeover will be coming so be sure you're subscribed for that. But I love color in a space in a home whether that's green, blue, purple, red, pink. I'm not a big yellow lover but I think it also looks beautiful too. There's a lot you can do to bring color color and vibrancy into your home. Everything does not have to be a neutral for the space to look beautiful and be great. So embrace some color in your life in a space, even if it's just a little room, even if you just paint the powder room a really vibrant color. Do something that's a pop that brings some character into the space so it doesn't feel like a hospital, like a mental institution, so it's not feeling super bland. 
you want personality in your home because it's your home and it should reflect you. Well, there you have it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below and share with me what is one thing everybody says is dated, but you're like, I don't see it, Garrett. It looks good to me and I don't understand why. Because I wanna hear from you and be sure you give this video a like. I also know that you know someone that their home actually is very dated and they need help and it's like everything is a trend from three years ago. Ooh, share this video with them because friends help friends. I mean, they obviously need some help and you know, I'm not afraid to give it to them. And with that said, I will see you in the next one.